you've been taught, you've been told Don't blink, don't run Don't turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun My mind's gone in circles, I'm trying to fight it Get in these voices inside to stay quiet Go to the place where all this began Megatech PC coming to you live, not live, I mean it's live for me, it's not going to be live for you, but coming to you from the saddle of my 2018 Aprilia RSV4 Double R. The day of our Lord, August 2nd, 2020. Man, this year is just flying by. Crazy shit happening every day and I guess it just makes the time fly by. Now, speaking of crazy shit happening every day, I actually have some uh, story time for you boys and girls hopefully I wonder if any girls have watched any of my videos I somehow doubt it but you never know there I go perpetuating the patriarchy <laughs> um, but yeah no I have a I did have a interesting day yesterday on the bike I'll give you a good look there nothing looks different but there are different things going on with this bike today as a result of what happened yesterday because for the first time in the Priller's life uh, she got dropped yep she got dropped not like riding but just fell over I'm really sad about that I had managed to keep her pristine and shiny side up for almost next month will be one full year yesterday that all came to an end as she fell onto her right side but i'm gonna get to all that in just a minute so there is currently a recall on the uh, rsv4 double r 2018 through 2020 i think and the uh the rf i think just for 2018 i probably just announced it like back in may I got my notification in the mail last month, so I scheduled an appointment uh, at the uh, motorcycle dealership, Southeast Motorcycle in Savannah, Georgia. Now the recall was for the front uh, Brembo brake pads. Apparently, due to some flaw in the manufacturing process, the pads could become delaminated, I think is what they said, and obviously that would hinder braking performance pretty much completely if that were to happen I went ahead and, and scheduled the appointment I mean hey I get brand new brake pads like it's a win-win for any of you guys that have an RSV4 uh, either the RR or the RF check with your dealer check online just make sure that you uh, get that recall taken care of if you haven't done so already but anyway I take the bike up to the dealership and I was looking at this sweet 2018 Yamaha R6 that they had up there. It was like that matte gray color. I really love those. They, just, they look so mean. And uh, the owner of Southeast Motorcycle, his name is Adam, he kind of called all the way across the showroom to me. He called me by my name. He was like, uh, Eric. And he kind of motioned me over. 
But when I got up, you know, over to him and saw the look on his face, I was like, uh-oh. To his credit, I mean, he looked me right in the eye and apologized and said, we dropped your bike. Like no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 He was really apologetic and said he wanted to let me know what happened and he took me out into the shop and showed me the bike and sure enough the muffler was like all scraped up the right sided engine cover had a big gash in it all the damage was cosmetic my bar end was all scraped up my mirror my CRG lever the end was uh, is scraped uh, and my right foot peg has some scrapes on it and actually broke off the peg feeler so he was showing it all to me and really apologetic the guy that actually dropped it was one of the techs he was in there and he looked like he was just terrified that i was going to strangle him but you know i was i told him it was like listen accidents happen i understand it's you know if we can just get it get back to right then then it's, it's no big deal they actually have several stock rsp4 exhaust because you know people that go aftermarket they don't want their stock can so they just leave it there and so they just happen to have like a brand new one so they put that on here looks perfectly original they actually took the uh, right-sided engine cover off of one of the showroom rsv4s like he actually wheeled the, a showroom bike brand new rsv4 and uh wheeled it back into the into the shop and they just took it right off of the the new bike and put it online which i thought was really cool they also gave me a brand new bar in just happened to have one of those in the uh, parts department and so that worked out set my cruise here so the only thing that they didn't have yesterday at the time was uh the mirror which he went ahead and ordered and these crg uh levers they actually have a removable tip there i guess just for this exact scenario and so he's going to order me a replacement tip for that lever after i left actually just today before i started recording i was getting gas and that's when i actually noticed the foot peg neither one of us saw it yesterday so i'll give him a call tomorrow and let him know that you know the foot peg needs to be replaced too as i said they were like really cool about the thing i mean you know obviously they dropped my bike but i could tell that they were really genuinely they really cared and they wanted to make it right and they did everything they could yesterday so you know it, it's not a good thing but um i'm not gonna lose my mind over it i'm not gonna start freaking on the guy and you know yelling and leaving bad google reviews and all this other bullshit i mean accidents happen shit happens like i said it's uh it's not a happy story my beautiful baby took a took a took a mean little shot on the right side but you know these things happen probably should have gotten frame sliders but you know the thing about it is is that at least i didn't do it that's that's what my takeaway is is if it had to happen if it had to fall over i'm glad it was somebody else that, that did it that dropped it and secondly i'm also even much more grateful that i didn't have to witness it because you know i was just uh, out in the showroom checking out that r6 i had no idea what was going on but if i had actually seen them drop it that would have made it a hundred times worse this one it wasn't me the poor poor mechanic at the shop did and he he really looked like he just wanted to run away i felt i mean i, I actually felt bad for him because i mean you, we've all been there you just make a mistake and you know that you fucked up the last thing you you need is somebody because i'm sure there's plenty of plenty of you guys out there would have reacted far differently and that's fine i understand but they did everything they could to to sort of alleviate the issue he actually gave me a really oh shit i 
wasn't even paying attention. I'm glad he didn't catch me a second ago. <laughs> Where was I? Oh yeah. He even gave me this really cool uh, Aprilia racing shirt, which, I mean, you know, that, yeah, that's the least they could do, but it's still nice, and I didn't ask for anything, you know. I just wanted the bike fixed, and so they're doing, they, they did most of it yesterday, and the rest of it will get fixed probably uh, either next week or the week after. Because I'm kind of limited on how many times I can go up there. I mean, I, they're only open on Saturday on the weekend. It's really just every other week that I can even ride this bike. I've explained in, in other videos that I have a beautiful, wonderful, amazing 10-year-old daughter. Her mom and, uh, and I are divorced, and so I, I, get, uh, I get her every other weekend. As much as I love riding the bike, I mean, I'm not going to miss out on father-daughter time just to ride the bike. So every other weekend, she just stays in the uh, garage, and, uh, and then the, the next weekend when I, when I don't get my daughter, I usually spend both Saturday and Sunday out on the bike. I think that's best anyway because, you know, when you go two weeks without riding, it really sort of hypes you up for the next time you get to go out. In 2020, I have been just rejuvenated as far as my love for this motorcycle. It's just everything. I, I just love everything about it. I can't wait to ride it now. It's exactly what I wanted. It does exactly what I want. It's a really, really good motorcycle. I just, uh, I wish that it could have remained drop free in my possession. But as I said, shit happens. I got a cool shirt out of it. And I got some brand new parts that are just the same parts that I had before, but they're new. I mean, once I get that mirror and uh, foot peg taken care of, you'd never be able to know that it was dropped. I am headed up to Vidalia again. I know, I know. Why do I keep going to the same places? My last ride two weeks ago, and I haven't actually done anything with this footage yet, but it's coming. I don't know whether this video will come first or that one will, but that one's definitely uh, getting made into a video. Uh, my last ride, I went up to Aiken, South Carolina. So that was a new place to go. I'm gonna actually have a moto vlog on different roads. I mean, I've been on this road just about every moto vlog I've ever done. Look at the cornfield. It's all turning brown. Is that normal? Is that supposed to happen? It is a gorgeous day. It is a really really hot day but it's it is beautiful out it's not as hot as it was last week i mean that, that trip to aiken that just about killed me it was so fucking hot it was unbelievably hot and today you know if i stop it gets pretty uncomfortable but just at a steady cruise here temperature is good i'm not hot right now the breeze feels nice i am toying with the idea of going to uh, Big Al's. I always go to Big Al's because it's awesome. And they got a sweet ass rocking chair. And they're going to be closed today because it's Sunday. And they're always closed on Sunday. I'm thinking I could get, get some pretty neat footage right there. Uh, I don't guess it's going to be like super epic like my, uh, my Arcilla Mine footage that I got a couple months ago. But, um, yeah, again, rural Georgia here. All right, guys. Eric Megatech PC back after another successful, well, semi-successful drone footage operation. I say semi-successful because I seem to have a problem with my Mavic Air. So I was only able to get two flights at the beautiful Big Owls neighborhood market or whatever country market get it right so we are off and i now have some drone footage and now for the fun ride back I'm 
bummed out about my drone, man. I have to do some more research when I get home and see if I can fix this sucker. Hopefully I got enough footage to fill in the montage. We will just have to see about that. I'm not joking about how hot it is, but it is really hot. I mean, the instant I walk outside and feel heat like this, it just saps all, all of my energy. no chance buddy I know you think you do but you don't 